1975, the Rocky Horror Picture Show was ahead of its time, and it has always been controversial. But try to imagine what people's reactions were in 1975, the year it premiered. Here are excerpts from an editorial written by Donald B. Berrigan, published in the Cincinnati Inquirer on December 21st, 1975. This columnist has a huge reaction to the film. And my question to you for the comment section below is, is he off base or does he completely get Rocky Horror? The Rocky Horror Picture Show. It was also accompanied by the release of a soundtrack album that got some listenership from avant-garde youth who soon spread the word about its totally degenerate, transvestite, transsexual, and blasphemous content. As a result, along with the national publicity about the star, Tim Curry, eating out Rolling Stone Mick Jagger in auditions for the movie role. Older youth are interested in this film. Unfortunately, it will soon or may now be playing in your neighborhood. I sincerely doubt that any youngster who sees it will view traditional morality quite the same again. The story, Brad and Janet are the ridiculed, conventional, young, engaged couple who get caught in a rainstorm and must seek shelter at a nearby mansion secreted deep in the windy woods under a lightning streaked sky full of storming clouds. Inside, they meet an assortment of glitter freaks who are mentored by Frank Inferter, who, in his entrance song, seemingly describes himself a sweet transvestite, transsexual Transylvania. It's the old Frankenstein story, but retold with every overlay that perverted sexuality can contrive. Frankenfurter is making a man, but he's to have blonde hair and a tan, and to be his homosexual prostitute. The conventional, if a bit prudish, sexuality of Brad and Janet is ultimately perverted as the bisexual Frankenfurter sexually molests and seduces each of them separately. Murder, cannibalism, and heavy doses of homosexual and libertine philosophy unreal endlessly until creatures from outer space finally wipe out the whole seething mess. Illicit sexuality, the amoral, the immoral, and the unmoral are the main themes of musical sex extravaganza, and they are the themes that it constantly dwells on. The main characters parade around in bizarre and transvestite garb, the males especially resplendent in garter belts, corsets, and pantyhose. Their glitter makeup outrageous in its amoral overkill. A bedroom scene between Frankenfurter and Brad is an explicit homosexual seduction. And the one between Furter and Janet is identical in its dialogue, but mesmeric in its effect and implications. There is a group sex scene referred to more popularly as a group rope in the indoor swimming pool. Profanity and vulgarity. Again, to recount what happens in both these categories would require a repeated and scholarly study of both the film and its script. There's just too much of both. Degenerate lifestyle and values. Some of the lines your youngsters will hear sung include, life is an illusion, reality is a figment of the imagination, therefore, there is no morality. Stay sane inside insanity, therefore, the crazier you are, the more with it you are. Janet, touch me, I wanna be dirty. I've tasted blood and I want more. This occurs in the scene where she tries to seduce the handsome bisexual created man, Rocky, placing his hands on her breasts. This kind of thing goes on throughout the film. The final admonition to the youthful audience is that no matter what you want to do, don't dream it, be it your decision. As I have been warning America in this newspaper column for nearly two years, the content of the films that are being produced for and aimed at our youth is getting more decadent, not less. And the values these motion pictures are eroding are the very values upon which the family, devoted parenthood, and our nation's mental health and social well-being vitally depend. The Rocky Horror Picture Show may very well be the worst of Hollywood's filth yet to come along, but it is by no means the last. Okay, it's your turn. It's time to review the review. Do you think this columnist was off base? Or do you think he completely gets Rocky Horror? Let me know in the comments section below.